Work, training and support are the keys. These young footballers are the promise who are trained by Rising Star of Africa, a non-governmental organization which works to identify young talented football players and support them towards reaching their full potential. For them, this means training every day. Ghana has an amazing natural resource that can be seen in almost every street, the power of the ball. Football is uh, more than a sport, it's part of Ghanaian culture and the football players are one of the best of the world. However, having talent and passion is not enough to become a football star. As an 18 years old boy, you know, I'm close to sign a professional contract so I need to work hard to get to the professional because it's not easy to come from Africa and sign a team in Europe. So I need to work hard. I train in the morning, in the afternoon and in the evening. But we normally come to training around 3.30. We train for two hours every day. Okay, I train in the morning and afternoon. I train around 6. You wake up around 5, you go to jog and train on your own and come to here and train in the afternoon. I dedicate my life into football. I'm giving the, the best out of myself for them to learn out. Rising Star of Africa, Labour started six years ago in 2013. The academy has been founded upon the belief that sports is a unifying force that can be used to promote social coercion and personal well-being. They offer a supportive environment in which these players can develop themselves. Our key objectives is to provide opportunities or support for the various opportunities that are in Ghana. I mean, when I talk of the opportunities that are in Ghana, I'm talking about the footballing talents, which are in abundance, but at the end of the day, um, these young chaps lacking the various uh, opportunities to unearth their talents. So basically, it is to help them realize their dreams to also become beneficial in the society. So by this, we're providing two modules for our players. And to talk of the modules, I mentioned uh, educational support and then um, footballing opportunities. So we believe that it is not every player that can really, or every other player that has passed to be a footballer that can really become a pro. So in that wise, we make sure that every player of ours, or every player in our academy, has the opportunity to go to school. At least a player of ours should, should complete the senior high school, for which we are giving them support for. That notwithstanding, we also give them this footballing training. Because of this training, some boys of Rising Star Academy are playing national under 17 and are currently in Morocco with the national under 20 players playing the All African Games. They are looking for talents in every part of Ghana. We have scouts in place uh, in Rising Stars of Africa. So what we normally do is this, we give priority to talented kids but less privileged. So from time to time we have scouts around. I think the first season we had to go to a place like Kumasi to go scouting for players. Where through our scouting um, activities we scouted some of the current players and those that are even out of the country as I speak with you. So apart from people bringing their players, saying that, oh, this guy is who, can you try him? We have our scouting members in place that goes out to communities to scout them for us. Yeah. When I first came to Rising Star, I was happy because I never been in trouble before. I came from a bad privilege and, and I was found in my village. I brought him here for a justify. I came, I do, I do my best and I was being picked up. So I was happy when I was picked up here. They treat me good and give me the best of all. I started playing football when I was five years old. By then I was in Nerju 1. So I started playing paper football. So someone told me I'm good at it, so I decided to work hard towards it. 
Ghana has a lot of talented players to play football. So I think we are good and we can be professionals if we train hard. My coach brought me here for a tryout. So the first time I came here, the manager liked me and selected me. Football is very important for me. So I can be in football and train hard to become a professional in future. The Football Academy currently provides dedicated coaching to about 52 young Ghanaians who span the under 11 to under 17 categories and regularly compete in local, national and regional tournaments. This could bring a lot of pressure and work. For those reasons, Rising Star provides them in order to support their development, coaching and psychological support. I think a lot of the, the kids here at the academy have the aspirations of being a professional footballer. Um, we hope that this happens for all of the, the kids. It probably will not for all of them, but everybody trains as hard as they can with the mindset of becoming a professional footballer. I think you can see that in training on a day-to-day -day basis, and a lot of the children have the best mentality to achieve what they do want to achieve. And I guess one of our roles is to try and bring a little bit more motivation out of them and to see and help what they can do to become a better individual and a better player. They're very strong minded and very strong willed for their age. At such a young age to have such big aspirations and um, it takes a lot of mentality and mental resilience just to even aspire for their goals that they have and to actually work hard and push through the countless obstacles and struggles is actually quite amazing. These kids, they are already very good with uh, the ball on their feet. They just need sometimes a little bit more help uh, with their tactical sides because technically they are subpar. This is my second time here with, with this team. When I came last time, I, I worked with some, some kids that are now playing abroad. So it's nice to see. I remember one time um, I was back home in Portugal and I saw in the news in, or actually in the Rising Stars of Africa Instagram that one of the kids had joined Bayern Munich. So that, that's amazing. We believe rising football stars in Africa are becoming the best natural resource and role models in their local communities.